Hey everyone, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly, and I want to do a quick test today between two of the best phones out there. On the left is the HTC Thunderbolt, which runs on Verizon. The Thunderbolt is the best of the best when it comes to a single processor, high performance Android cell phone. This has got a, a one gigahertz processor, very powerful. Uh, it's a single core processor, however, but it's about the best of the single core processor phones that's out there. And on the right is the new T-Mobile G2X. Now this is made by LG and it is uh, a dual core processor phone. It has one of the NVIDIA Tegra dual core processors running at uh, one gigahertz. So it's a dual core processor. Now the Thunderbolt has uh, 768 megabytes of processor available RAM. The G2X has only 512 megabytes of processor available RAM. So there's more RAM in the Thunderbolt which would tend to make the Thunderbolt run a little faster than the G2X. However, the dual core processor is the big deal here and what I want to do is I want to show you how these two phones compare when they both run the same test. In this case, they're both going to run SmartBench 2011. So, will the single core processor compare with the speed of a dual core processor. One other thing before I start the test, you'll notice that the Thunderbolt is on Wi-Fi here in the Wirefly building and the uh, G2X is actually connected to the network. The network that the phone is connected to has no role in the SmartBench test. So SmartBench doesn't care if the phone is connected to the network. It has no bearing. It doesn't include, doesn't add to the measurement in any way. So the fact that one phone is on Wi-Fi and the other phone is on the network has absolutely no bearing on the SmartBench 2011 test. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and kick it off. Uh, i got to back up both of these. Let's start that again. And they're both going to come up to the same screen and now they're going to allow me to run SmartBench. And away they go. I'm going to keep the tests up here. Now when you see graphics tests appearing, the speed at which the graphic tests are done gives you some idea of how fast that phone processes graphics. Look at the G2X screaming through these graphics tests, almost like the phone is mad. I mean, it's just flying through those graphics tests. On the other hand, the Thunderbolt goes through it at a much more stately pace. So you can already see that the Thunderbolt is falling behind. This is the last of the tests. It's called the jellyfish test. And it looked like it was throwing those jellyfish back at me. Now I'm going to wait for the Thunderbolt to catch up before I go ahead and display the scores. Annoyingly, at the end of the SmartBench test, when you go to display the scores, it seems to take much longer than it should take. Now the Thunderbolt has finally switched to the jellyfish test and there go the jellyfish. Again, they're moving by, moving by a lot more slowly than they were to on the G2X. So we can tell already from this that the G2X is going to give us some higher scores than the Thunderbolt. Okay, and now I'm going to display the scores. And again, annoyingly this takes more time than it ought to. But uh, hey, SmartBench 2011 is a free download from the Android market. So as long as it's free, I can't complain too much. And there we go. The Thunderbolt got scores. Now there's two scores with um, SmartBench. There's a, a uh, uh, pro productivity score and a game score. And the Thunderbolt scored 977 in productivity and 1247 in games. That's 977 and 1247. Over here, the uh, T-Mobile G2X got 2125 on productivity and 2463 on games. So the uh, the G2X scored more than twice the scores of the Thunderbolt. This is a dual core processor. This is a single core processor. So you can clearly see what a dual core processor means in terms of the overall speed of the phone. Now, is SmartBench 2011 the best bench test app that's out there? I don't know if it is or not. You could certainly discuss that, whether it's the most appropriate test for these two phones. But I wanted to show you what I got both of them running the same test. Hey everyone, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly. Thanks for watching.